For any of you out there that remember, a few years ago I did a review series on the Dead of Night collection, which had its fair share of good films and its fair share of absolutely terrible ones. Well, after finishing that, I decided to complete another collection from my childhood, that being the Vipco Scream Time collection. And after a few years of buying, a few years of moving house for the hundredth time, finally got the complete collection. And I'm going to take a look at it. Otherwise, it'd feel like a complete waste of money. So, a little background information. Vipco, which stands for Video Instant Picture Company, <laughs> rolls right off the tongue, were a release company in the UK running from the late 70s to 2007. They're famously known for putting out video nasties on VHS during the pre-certification era of home video and being caught up in the video nasty controversy of the 80s. During the early 2000s they began re-releasing some of their back catalogue onto DVD in various collections. This includes the Vault of Horror collection and this one right here that I've collected, the Scream Time collection. This is all 45 films on the Scream Time release. A few have also been released on the Vault of Horror set too. You can also see that this is the release that the Dead of Night ripped off completely. Now, Vipco is a relatively well-known and loved company, and so there's extensive information about them online. There's even a documentary that's called Vipco The Untold Story, and a book called Video Nasty Mayhem. Both were released over the past few years, and I've not checked them out, so I don't know if they're worth your time or not. But it all goes to show that researching Vipco compared to The Dead of Night was an absolute breeze because there's so much information and there's catalogues of all the releases out there online. So if you're interested in collecting yourself, information is easy to find on Vipco. That being said, even though it's a well-known, well-liked and well-documented company, it's not perfect. And I'm planning to go through the entire Scream Time collection and see which ones are worth your time and which ones aren't. And a lot of these films you may have heard of recently because Arrow and 88 Films have been re-releasing them. So join me as I take a look at a series of films that people have heard of, but ultimately nobody cares about. And next week we'll be taking a look at Asylum. 